This video, we're going to look at Cournot competition with product differentiation. Two firms that produce differentiated goods engage in Cournot competition. Firm one situation, it has the following inverse demand and the following cost function. The subscript one represents firm one, the subscript two represents firm two. Firm two has inverse demand given by the following and it has the following cost function. We're going to first solve for firm 2's reaction function. We set up firm 2's profit function, which is going to be firm 2's price times its output. That's firm 2's revenue. And then we're going to subtract from it firm 2's cost. We're going to make substitutions now into this formula. P subscript 2 is going to be replaced with this 95 minus Q subscript 1 minus 3Q, 3Q subscript 2, making that substitution in. And then we're going to plug in our cost function of minus 25Q subscript 2. Rewriting firm 2's profit function. So here we're going to take the partial derivative of this profit function with respect to firm 2's output. And we get back the following result. We're going to solve this now for Q subscript 2. So 95 minus 25 is where the 70 is coming from. Dividing through by 6 and moving some things around, we have firm 2's reaction function. Now let's get firm 1's reaction function. Similar story here. We're going to set up firm 1's profit function for P subscript 1. We're going to replace that with firm 1's inverse demand. So making that substitution and plugging in firm 1's total cost. Now we're going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to firm 1's output, which is Q subscript 1. We get back this partial derivative result, setting these partial derivatives equal to 0 because we're maximizing. And now we're going to solve this for Q subscript 1. This minus 4Q subscript 1 minus 5Q subscript 1 gives us this minus 9Q subscript 1. And now dividing through by 9, this is firm 1's reaction function. Now we have two reaction functions. So two equations and two unknowns, and we're just going to solve these. So here's our reaction functions. I'm going to plug one into the other. So take firm 1's reaction function, and where we have this Q subscript 2, we're going to place that with firm 2's reaction function. So simplifying this a little bit. And simplifying some more, I'm going to get a common like denominator here. Simplifying some more. And now multiplying through by 54. Subtracting this Q subscript 1 from both sides and dividing through by 53. Firm 1 will produce 10 units of output. As for firm 2, we'll plug this 10 into firm 2's reaction function. And we see that firm 2 produces also 10 units of output. To get the prices, we'll take those inverse demands and evaluate them at the output levels that we just found. So firm 1 produces 10 units. Firm, produ firm 2 produces 10 units. So firm 1 will charge a price of $70 each. As for firm 2, same thing, take its inverse demand and evaluate it at the Q subscript 1 and Q subscript 2 that we just found. And we'll see here that firm 2 charges a price of $55. Okay, that's it.